Now one thing Key West is not short on is oddities. And downtown is the heart of it all. Even our cameraman was caught up in the moment. Are you a happy pig? Are you a happy piggy? Piggy, piggy, piggy. All right. What do you got planned for me today? You always got hey, something good going. I have got the most glorious 82-foot schooner lined up to take us out on the ocean, man. It's gorgeous. You're going to love it. 82 the foot. Hey, the captain is a hoot, man. You're going to have a great time with him. But I tell you what, before we go over and meet the captain and the skipper yeah. and his crew, let's go and meet Jen, who lined this whole thing up for us. Let's go do that. 82 foot, huh? First question that Bill wanted me to ask you was, do you like Bill better or do you like me better? I definitely like you better. Oh, that's okay. This is going to go all right then. It's because you're the one asking the questions. All right. Well, Bill was going to ask you a few, but now he's hurt. I'm crushed now, Jim. Bill's shy. I'm you, man. But in all I may go to the rail. Where are we right now? And don't tell me we're on the water. We're in the Gulf of Mexico. Ah, so we're in the Gulf of Mexico, and we're now heading back to port. Mm -hmm. And this boat docks where? Um, right in Old Town Key West, right behind the Hilton Resort and the Hilton Marina. and. Um, we take reservations every day for whatever How many want. cruises every day? A morning, an afternoon, and a sunset. And of course, you know, the sunset is the big deal down here, so that's definitely our most popular sail. Our next victim was Captain Rich, a snowbird from Manhattan who filled us in on the reason for his long commute. Key West is, is just a fun town, so it's all, that's what it's designed for, it seems like. And it's a great area to go out sailing and have access to the ocean waters. Um, that are right at your front doorstep. And as far as other things to do within the city, there's a plethora. There's a scuba diving, there's parasailing. Um, and you, can, you can always pick up that after the uh, sailing experience you have here on the Liberty. What makes it a schooner, Rich? The, it has two masts. The aftermast is taller than the foremast. Kind of like me and Hank. <laughs> you I'm a lot taller than Hank. Yes. I heard but you just came here, you've been here nine days, so you must you must have come from somewhere else. Where did you come from? I came from Manhattan in the uh, summer times. I drive a boat up in uh, the Manhattan area. Rich, what kind of boat are you piloting up in Manhattan? <laughs> it's a yawl, 70-foot Sparkman Stevens. Builds the brains uh, of the What's a yawl? The yawl has two masts. The after mast is shorter than the forward mast, and it's aft of the steering gear. All right, so Hank would be more or less behind the guy that was steering the boat now, and I would be in the front of the boat now. <laughs> Obviously, the most, mo the more important. Exactly. Position. Yes. Correct. You know, th the funny thing is, that, what did you study in school? Uh, mechanical engineering. Did you learn that in like when you went to school to be a mechanical engineer? And Villanova guy, he's a Villanova <laughs> ooh, guy. Ooh, ooh. Did they win this week? I don't know. Did they? Play? I don't think they even yeah. show up to the game. Yeah, football the game. team nah. there, huh? I don't know. But that's all right. Tell us about, you know, you were a mechanical engineer, but you didn't like it or something? Well, I didn't want to go to an office every day, and we're a pocketbook checker, so I went back to what I had done in high school to make money, which is... Rob people? Rob people. Yeah, build it Of their money, yes. <laughs> no, I went back to uh, working on boats. So you're piloting an 80-foot desk, basically. I'm getting a little nervous because we're getting close to land. Who's, who's, yes, uh, who's um, running this Is anybody this steering this the thing? The Cracker Jack crew. Oh, I used to have Wait a, a Cracker Jack crew. <laughs> that just tells you where we got our crew. <laughs> I hope that's not what you're referring to, Rich. <laughs> well, look, Rich, if you ever go out riding on a motorcycle, we'll be glad to take you with us. And if you got your own, that's even better because riding with Bill and I is quite dangerous. But I'll tell you what you can do. I'll let you ride Hank's bike. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Sharon, we're on a quest. We've been all over Key West, and we are looking for the best key line pie. You've come to the right place. We have Denise's famous key lime pie. Uh, the recipe, she swears, was handed down to her by the gods themselves. Ooh, that's pretty hot. Ready up. to try some? Bring it on. Let's I'm do ready. It. ready. I'm ready. This is going to be great. Oh, oh, oh man. man. Yeah, there you, go. you know, I'm going to take a big bite of this. And, uh, Ready? Now, while I'm doing this, I want you to tell me exactly what goes into it, besides key limes, obviously. Key limes, which are native to the Keys, and condensed milk, uh, graham cracker crumbs, things that people could keep without refrigeration, um, mm. and store easily. So, it has a long tradition in the Keys. Now, what did you use this at? You call this what? What kind of food is it? Comfort food. Comfort food. Comfort Key West food. comfort food. Key West comfort food. So folks, whenever you get down here to Key West, come on into Camille's. 
This is great.